Investors, Morning Center, Live Investors .com. And today we're going to look at the 14th question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2 from the Blue Book app, the harder set of math questions. Number 14 reads, the graph of y equals f of x plus short 14 is shown which equation defines function f. So first off, I'm going to run through the gamut for you. What I mean is we're going to go a little bit outside the scope of what's needed for this question. If you've got f of x and it's plus 1, then that's going to move the graph up 1. If you've got f of x, let's say it's minus 2, that's going to move the graph down 2. And that makes sense. We would expect that. We could say that this is x vector. Now check out what happens when say it's f of x plus 3. It's inside the parentheses. Now you know x goes left to right. It looks like we're manipulating x. So you'd expect it maybe to go to the right, but it doesn't go to the left. So this goes left 3. Um, and then let's say we've got f of x, and inside the parentheses we've got x minus 4. So it would naturally follow that here you're going to go right 4. Now this is probably not what you would expect. So we'd say that this is an x vector. Okay, now when we read this question, the graph f of x e, the graph y equals f of x plus 14 is shown. So this is plus 14. Which equation defines the function f? So this line right here is after it's been moved up 14. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick some points. It makes sense to pick the x and the y intercept. So it looks like the y intercept here is 0, 2. Now if that moves down 14, then I'm going to have a new coordinate. It's going to be 0, negative 12. This point right here, that is 8, 0. If I move that down 14, again, the y is going to go down 14. It's still going to be at 8 for my x, but now I'm going to be at negative 14 for my y. I could plug either of these points in and eliminate anything that doesn't work. Now, look at how easy it is to plug 0 in for x and eliminate anything that doesn't give you negative 12 for f of x. The answer has got to be a. Uh, if I had more than, if I checked all the answer choices, because you can see here that it's not going to work for B, C, or D. If I had more than one answer choice left, then I'd plug in 8 and eliminate anything that does, doesn't give me negative 14. Um, if you did it with two equations, or with two coordinates, then you definitely have your answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with transformations. If any questions you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot the video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. And check out that one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.